in the mid 70s. Was it that bad? I mean, is the story true that you don't even remember recording um, station to station? Because if that's true, you should maybe forget some more. Sometimes I don't. I don't. I, I, I can't even. I can't think of one. I can only think of one incident on station to station. It's the only thing I can remember, and that was uh, trying to get El Slick to just to to. I remember working with Earl on the guitar sounds out in the studio itself and uh, screaming the feedback sound that I wanted at him. Uh, I remember doing that. I also remember he, uh, telling him, take a Chuck Berry riff, dan, 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 and just play all the way through the solo. Don't deviate from it. Just play that one riff over and over and over again, even though the chords are changing underneath. Just keep it going. I said, what, man? And I said, it, I said it'll work, it'll work. <laughs> Uh, that's and that's about it. That's about all I remember of it. I can't even remember the studio. I know it was in LA because I've read it was in LA, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't be able to describe. I tell you what I do remember though. I don't, I, what I do remember is that the I believe the guy who owned the studio. It might have been that one. It might have been another studio. I mean, it starts to get. Yeah. He was also in a similar place to me, <laughs> and he just bought this in incredible house up in the hills with all the contents, and he invited me over one night, and he said, man, I got this, like, huge library, he said, all these books, you like all that book shit, you want some? So I went into the library, and I found these five volumes of a 17th century printing of the works of Francis Bacon. I mean, it was just like... This is unbelievable. I said, I'll have these five if you don't want them. Uh, I said, yeah, it's just old shit. <laughs> so so um, I walked away with those five volumes of, uh, with things like New Atlantis in them and all his experiments, uh, Bacon writing about his experiments about refrigerating chickens, which, of course, eventually killed him um, because he froze to death while seeing if one of his chickens had frozen <laughs> in the snow. Free refrigeration, incredible experiment. And the guy was a mu just incredible. Um, and uh, a couple, only a few weeks later, the guy was found dead in his swimming pool with two birds, also dead, under incredibly mysterious circumstances. I, sorry, I just that I remember that. <laughs> I, I remember that things like that. I kind of remember. There's certain bizarre high points that kind of like stick out like icebergs from the sea of mystery.